Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is John Imperial and welcome to the first video of a new series I'm starting called No Fluff Fridays. The whole goal is that for some of my videos, I want to simplify the creation process in simple words, information over production. As a content creator, sometimes I feel the pressure to create something cinematic with a ton of b-rolls and whatnot and it could be too much for a one-man crew. I think this could be a good place where I answer common questions that I get, highlight products, do unboxing videos, and more. And the videos that I would be making could be anything from lifestyle, tech, architecture, and design. And the first thing I want to talk about today is curved monitors. I get a lot of questions about my curved monitor, especially being in architecture. So I thought to myself, why not just answer it in one video? and answer most of those common questions that I get. First, let's go over the monitor that I have. I have a 34 inch ultra wide monitor from Dell. It's the U3419W. It has a USB-C pass through that can power your laptops up to 90 watts, which works really well with my 16 inch MacBook Pro. It has a curve radius of 1900R, which is very important and we'll touch on that later. And in my opinion, it has enough ports for my needs. So why do I have a curved monitor? If I'm being honest, when I was starting to build my setup, a lot of the YouTubers and people that I was looking up to had curved monitors. And so that kind of affected my search for a monitor. I wanted a curved one. Initially, I was after curved monitors for the look, but after using it for some time, I realized how beneficial it could be. In my opinion, once you go past 27 inches, you really start to see the benefit of having a curved monitor. I've used other 34 inch ultra wide monitors that aren't flat and I find the curve to be nice because it brings the edges and the corners closer to your eyes and it helps you not have to like sway your head all that much. The reason why I said that you can really see the benefit once you go past 27 inches is because I have a 27 inch curved monitor for my gaming setup. And with 27 inches, it feels like you can just see the screen without like tilting your head left and right. And so the curve of the screen doesn't affect my viewing angle all that much unless I get closer to it. And the reason why I got a curved monitor for my gaming setup was I just wanted to find the cheapest monitor that I could find that had the specs that I wanted. With all that said, there is nothing wrong with buying a 27 inch curved monitor. It's just that I don't think you should put a lot of value in that. I feel like there's nothing to lose, nothing to gain. I'd say buy whatever is cheaper. Take note that not all curved monitors are created equal. I have used a gaming monitor before that had a very aggressive curve and I got it for gaming and it was not fun. Although yes, you can argue it's more immersive, but for first person shooters or anything like that, it was too much for me and I couldn't handle it. And I absolutely could not advise that for people who are using a curved monitor for design work. The second question is, do they affect straight lines? Do they affect design work? And is there an adjustment period? The short answer to that is no, it does not affect design work. And yes, there is an adjustment period. And like I said earlier, my monitor has a curve radius of 1900R, which is less aggressive. In my personal experience, there was about two to four days of adjustment period where something was looking funny. The lines were never looking curved or anything like that. It just something about the surface that I had to get used to. And it was funny because when I would go to my previous employment and use the flat monitor, it felt like it was bowing the other way. But all of that went away after, like I said, two to four days when I got used to it. And the third question is a 34 inch ultra wide monitor versus two 27 inch monitors. For me personally, I like having a 34 inch monitor. I feel like it's just a little bit cleaner. And from a productivity standpoint, I rarely need two full size screens side by side. Most of the time I have a two third, one third setup, which is perfect and good enough for my needs. I have two thirds of the screen dedicated for the main application that I'm using, and then one third for my references, folders, websites, YouTube, and whatnot. I could definitely see a benefit in both setups, but for me and how I work, 
Switching from two 27 inch monitors to a single 34 inch ultra wide monitor has been great. I have no complaints. So what's my recommendation? In my opinion, if you are looking for a 27 inch monitor, going flat or curve is not really a big deal. However, if you go past that, if you're trying to get a 32, 34 inch monitor, from my personal experience, I would prefer having a curved monitor that slight curve really makes a difference in my opinion just how much you move your head and how much closer it is to your eyes you know the corners and it's a pleasant experience for me if you're looking for a dual monitor setup 227 inches there's nothing wrong with that but you can achieve a cleaner look by having a single ultra wide monitor one con to the curved monitor that i experience is when i'm presenting the thing is, it's optimized for having a person sitting in the middle and so the viewing angle is kind of weird, especially once I flip the monitor to the side and I'm having my meeting. It's a very specific problem for how I use my monitor. It's not a deal breaker though by any means. I just wanted to point that out. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.